Hey everybody, it's Sleeve, and I'm in Whitehorse Station, New Jersey, for this supermarket checkout. We're at Bishop Supermarket, a local independent store that has a long history. Back in the 1930s, Ray Dillon and Ed Siegfried started a small market on Main Street in White House Station. And by the 1950s, Bill Bishop, formerly an Acme employee, went to work for the two. In 1954, the store went up for sale and Bill bought it and operated the uh, store for a number of years at its Main Street location before building what you see here in 1989. Now, the store was originally a thrift way, at least dating back to 1989. Don't know if it was uh, before that. But of course, when Thriftway Shopping Bag went under, this later became an IGA. But uh, most of the decor from the Thriftway era is intact. Just a little coat of paint uh, difference. And of course, uh, the addition of the uh, uh, wood paneled uh, or faux wood panel um, floor tile, of course. But other than that, this store looks not much different than it did in 1989. So it has a classic store look to it. Kind of reminds me of Dieter Dings and Lindewald or uh, even the uh, Pennington Quality Market in Pennington, New Jersey. By the way, if you like my uh, supermarket checkouts, whether it be the big chain stores or the uh, small independent stores, well, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Comment below. Let me know you subscribed. And I can get back to you as soon as I can. Also, suggest some places that you think I might want to check out. I can't get to them all, but I will try. Again, shopping in the store. Um, brought back memories of, of course, uh, small independent stores I've been to before. Uh, it was well stocked. It was clean. It really was a nice store through and through. And honestly, I prefer the small independent stores over the big chain stores. Because, in my opinion, the independent stores, they really do pay close attention to what the customers really want and try their best to meet those needs and wants, of course. And that's why I prefer ShopRite to the corporate stores like Acme and Stop and Shop and Food Line and whatnot. Because with uh, ShopRite, they have, uh, in most cases, a local owner who uh, is keyed into what the uh, customer base wants. And to me, that really makes a difference in a store. I remember one time shopping at a Strack and Van Til supermarket in Sherville, Indiana, when I lived out there. And went through the magazine section, and I noticed my favorite magazine at the time, Rod and Custom, was uh, missing. So I asked a uh, manager who happened to be uh, in the aisle, like, what happened to Rod and Custom? The very next week, it was back on the uh, shelves. And that, to me, just says a lot about the uh, smaller independent stores. Their owners listen to their customers. But uh, at this point, I was actually looking for some things to buy. So again, I don't ever want to look like I'm casing a joint. I don't want to draw suspicion. So I try to buy things at every store I go to. And it also uh, aids in uh, helping out local commerce. I believe... Uh, it's just a good thing to do. And of course, I had a sweet tooth at this point. Uh, when don't I? <laughs> so, look around, see uh, something I might uh, want to munch while I'm driving back home. And, uh, you yeah, know, looked around and. Ooh. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. So, I kept on looking around until I found something that uh, tickled my fancy. And of course, I was also thinking maybe I want to pick up some candy for my church bus as well. But I uh, wasn't quite sure what to get. <laughs> yep, so I said, oh, poor uh, 
No, not those. <laughs> ah, those are the ones I wanted. And look around for some other things to get now. Overall, I was so. Oh, look, the, uh, the stuff that was discounted for quick sale. That's where you get the good deals. And that was right after Christmas, so uh, I still was in the Christmas mood, so getting Christmas candy does not bother me one bit. <laughs> I like that. And uh, yeah, with my purchases, time to get them rung up so I can get out. But first, uh, was I thirsty? <laughs> I think I was. Maybe get a drink here. Yep. They got me a Mountain Dew. And now, time to ramp purchases. And, uh, Make sure I have a reusable bag with me as always. Overall, if I lived in the area, I would definitely shop at this store. It's uh, nice, you got everything you need, and uh, you know, you're in and out uh, quickly, which I like. Well, folks, uh, my visit to this uh, supermarket is just about over here, so let me just grab my receipt. Well, I would have a little better uh, coordination there. But, but remember, as always, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, and tell a friend. Check out the small independent stores in your area. You never know what you might find. Have a great day out there, and I shall see you on the next video. Bye for now. I can't believe I got in this place.